I heard this story. It was probably 45 minutes before the sun actually went down. He just snoozed the whole entire time, but not two seconds after the sun dipped below the horizon, his little head popped up and he looked one way and looked the other and he ran off into the brush. When we got home that night, something happened though. I didn't have a camera, I have nothing to prove any of it, but I do have proof in Doug. Because I'm in the kitchen, he's in the living room, and I hear something you never hear in our house. Cacophony of wrong notes played really fast. Sounded so bad, I walked all the way in the living room and said, what are you doing? That's awful. He said, oh, I think that darn mongoose gave me a song. I said, what do you mean? He said, ever since we left the beach, I just have this melody that just keeps running over and over and over in my head. He said, I was hoping I could just kind of put my hand on the guitar and find the pattern of the notes. But he said, I don't think it's going to be that easy. So I didn't hear anything about it for about four weeks. And one day I got home from work and I hadn't even hardly walked through the door. And Doug said, sit down, you got to listen to this. So I did, and sure enough, the whole adventure of that little Molokai mongoose. So that's the name of the song, Molokai Mongoose. I think that mongoose was the devil. <laughs> <laughs> and he's sitting somewhere right now laughing at me, thinking, that guy's going to have to play that song the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> and his wife is going to make sure he does. <laughs> that oh. may be true, but in Sandy's world, the mongoose wanted this song created so that somebody would tell everybody that it's not their fault. Mm -hmm. They didn't come here intentionally, and they don't eat those bird eggs intentionally, but they have to survive, so they go with what's available. All right, here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. You sure? I think so.